We want to start cleaning these xenoestrogens out of the body, right? So here's how you do that. You start getting a lot of cruciferous vegetables. These are great for you. One of the best parts about the book here, the Metabolics book, is they have a ton of recipes, including things like cauliflower and collards and stuff like that, because it replaces things like potatoes and pastas and rices. And so instead of having those bad things, you're actually getting a positive nutrient value into the body. So broccoli, kale, cabbage. Your mom was really smart when she said, eat your broccoli when you were a kid. There's a reason for that, because it's actually healthy for you. And the more raw you eat these, the better. Now, a raw Brussels sprout isn't exactly awesome, right? <laughs> Cabbage can be, though. Broccoli can be. You can juice some of these things. I mean, there's lots of ways to get it into your body. So try all the different ones. Juice it. Blend it. Eat it raw. Cook it. But the less you cook it, the better. And if you're going to cook it, it's better to steam it than actually put it in the water. You know, if you ever cook broccoli and the water's green, it goes all the good stuff. Right? That's why you want to steam it. And don't steam it until it's, like, soft falling apart. Just until it's soft enough to where you're able to eat it. And so you start putting these things in on a regular basis. First of all, they're free carbs. You can eat them any time. You're getting amazing health benefits and antioxidants and power from that. Lots of vitamins and nutrients. Plus, they're actually draining those estrogens out of your body. So this applies for everybody. Kids, men, women. Makes a big difference. Dandelion greens are also really good for that. You can make teas. You can get dandelion supplements. You can juice dandelion. I do it all the time. It actually doesn't taste that bad. Um, some people are super extreme, like some patients I know that actually eat it. <laughs> I don't do that because it tastes very good, but you can. Milk thistle is really good, too, for your liver. And helps cleanse out your liver and helps it process a lot of these estrogens because pretty much everything has to pass through your liver to get to the rest of the body. That's like your primary detox organ. And there's a few different phases called lipatic phases that it goes through. And it has to have the right coenzymes and function to be able to get through there. That's why we test that with our metabolic testing. But when the liver gets overwhelmed, that's when we start to create problems. And so this actually helps support liver function to start cleansing that stuff out. <laughs>